wants pizza. Me. I got Hawaiian. I want this pizza. Okay. Thank you very much. And then, can you give me an iPhone, please? Yeah. Birthday girl. Here. Today we're at the roller rink and we're celebrating Alina's birthday. Today we have my mom, Ricky, and the kids, and of course Lily. We also have Camila and Kenya. They are my two nieces. My sister's aunt, um, visiting us, so we kind of gave her a break and let the girls come and hang out with us. Are everybody good? Mm -hmm. Get the pizzas? Okay, cool. So how are you feel after your surgery? Everything's good. It took me about, what, six weeks to recover me? Yeah, yeah, about six weeks. Because they did additional stuff to make sure that I was okay. And luckily, everything, we got the results. Oh, There's my. no cancer or anything like that. I've been having problems with my uterus. I knew that something was not right with my body, and so I finally decided that I needed to go get it checked out. So is it like something that's like like cancerous? Well, there, there could be a possibility that it might be. It would hurt me so much to see you go. No, it's not gonna happen with the same promise. After my mom had her surgery, it was kind of like a pause in our lives. She just came out of surgery. Nurses, thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Padilla, Eileen, me and the mom. Her drive to success is still the same. Maybe she goes a little harder. She's kind of pushy, but that's good. Like, as a manager, you have to be that way. I don't have a period anymore. <gasps> You're not a period sister? No, no we're period sister. We're trying to eat here. <laughs> I mean, the pizza's literally red. <laughs> I am sad and I'm not because I don't have to worry about periods and it's the best thing ever because Lily and Eileen get so annoyed about having a period that I'm just like, woo! I do like get kind of sad that we're not period sisters anymore because now I like have to like remind her like I'm perioding, like do you not understand that I'm going through stuff right now? And no, she doesn't because she doesn't have a period. <laughs> so it would literally go like this, her, her, me. And then done, the cycle's over. I don't think the cycles are ever over. <laughs> Me and Eileen are period sisters for sure. We synchronize. I can kind of like be more of like, hi, I'm perioding, you're not. <laughs> like who says that? Hi, I'm perioding, you're not. <laughs> I did take a little bit of downtime and um, took a break from booking as many clients as I used to. I am ready to start and go on my full momager role and make sure that I'm not just managing Eileen, but now I'm actually managing Elena's Instagram and also helping Armando with his Instagram. I'm starting to get pushy with Elena. Like I actually take pictures of her almost every day and just kind of work her Instagram page and make sure that her page has a little theme going on. And you know, I just kind of like have fun with her. Well, at least you get to sleep in on the weekends. Kind of, because Elena still wakes me up early, right Elena? <laughs> Yes, I do. Oh, she does. She wakes me up. Have, because I have to wake up early. I feel like I have school, but I wake up early. It's an, it's important to make it on time to school. Dad, I was late because I needed to do my makeup. Yes. That's a good reason to be late to school. Guess what, Armando? Whoa, what happened? Guess who's having a quinceanero party? I'm having one. <laughs> yes. So my sister just told Armando that she wanted him to have a quinceanero, and I'm shook. Having a quinceanero seems kind of weird because it's not it's not traditional. Well, I have a, a cool Pinterest idea, okay? Pinterest. And aren't quinceaneras? No, but you're not a quinceanera. You're a quinceanero. Because I've never even heard of quinceanero. For no, like Mando, quince. Mando, listen. But see, this is a cool thing. This is the idea that I have. Obviously, it's not going to be boys, but it can be you and maybe Eileen, the, your cousins. What the heck? I'm dead. So, okay, okay, do you remember that icon, like really cute picture of Eileen with all her boy cousins? Yeah. Can you imagine yourself there with all the girl cousins? <laughs> Literally, all his girl cousins are like, like perfect. Like half what do we like need? Why year. do we need grown little woman next to you? <laughs> little girls is perfect. You can do a quinceanero one. Little girls one, really. Yeah. Wait, if he's gonna well, have a quinceanero, why can't he have, have just grown friends, chicks dude. in his party? I know that'd be that'd be even better. I mean, they didn't have chambelanes. Traditionally, it's just for the girls. I know, babe, but this is our only son. This is our only son. This is his quince años. Okay. I would totally do a quince dance, a surprise dance with him. You know, because Ricky had his moment with Eileen. Why can't I have my moment? You know. Madre, okay. usted baila el vals con él. Ay, no. Me... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an amazing idea for a grandmother to dance with a boy, right? <laughs> Next thing, I dance with him. You just want to. Dude, you're just trying to take his spot. No, baby. No. She's already choreographing it in her mind. You can tell. And she's probably going to pick a Cardi B song. Oh. Good idea, but Cardi B. I like that. I don't like Cardi B. I dance with you. Surprise dance. Surprise, Surprise. Surprise dance Surprise in my dance. house. We can do it at the same hall. Everything has to be the same as I need, but flipped over. 
good idea. Literally, Genius. I don't know how I feel about him taking my shiny. <laughs> there was a little bit of jealousy there because it's like, why do you need one? You're boy. You like just go hang out with your friends or something. Like, like, what are you trying to copy me for? Am I trying to copy? Wow. Oh, I forgot about Alina. Yeah, but you're gonna be like 26. But I'm gonna be like an old bitch. But since me and Armando are kind of close in age, I'm just like. And he's a boy too. What do you think about I don't know, man. We do the big party. We no, do everything the same. No, that's embarrassing. Okay, I'm thinking about it in my head, and I'm like. Imagine I'm in high school, cute girl high school, and then a cute boy comes up to me with green eyes. He always has a green eye. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm just like, and then I'm just like, mm, doing my homework, and then he's like, hey. And I'm like, hi. <laughs> and then he's like, do you want to come to my quinceanero? And I'm like, what? Want to come to my quinceanero? And I'm just like, what? It's not gonna work. Yeah, not? quinceanero. And then, bitch, what? <laughs> <laughs> She got, she got stuck, huh? No, that's, that's how I would be. I would get stuck. Permite, mija. You can go to church, have the, the priest wear the tuxedo, and then change it to cavalry gear. I'm dead. What? No. If I want to have a good time, I'm going to be with my homies, my cousins, my, my family, you know, and he my friends homies. too. He said homies. I'm dead. Yeah, hello. He's grown. Party would be cool, like with But my you friends. want like a house party, like a cool people Or like party. a hangout with your friends? Yeah, like kick back and stuff like that. She probably could have said it a little bit different. Maybe reworded, not said quinceanero. Maybe she could have said, like, Armando, let's, you know, let's just throw you a big party because you're gonna turn 15. Like, you know, something, something cooler instead of quinceanero. That's probably why he was a little embarrassed about it. Skate so much. <laughs> really? Yeah. Surprise! Oh I got cat cupcakes for Lena because I know she loves cats. Like, she lives for cats. Happy birthday to you. Alina's turning six. Like over the past year, I do see more of her personality coming out. Alina's actually really into her page. She makes me read all her comments. She makes sure that how many likes her pictures are getting, how many followers she's getting, and she's really enjoying it. She's waiting for her PR packages. Every time Eileen, Eileen gets a package, she's, Mom, is that one for me? Nope, not yet. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Make a wish, make a wish. Yay. Did you make a wish, Alina? It's hey. not a wish if you don't tell us what it is. A cat. <laughs> <laughs> make a wish. And go. Happy birthday, Mamacita. Love you. Happy birthday, Mama. Papi, is my wish going to come true to get a cat? I, I am allergic to cats, so I don't know if that's going to work out. Babe, but it's OK because, you know, I've been home alone, and instead of having another child, oh. we can have another cat. <laughs> we have one that acts like it's a cat already. It's going to be easier to have a cat than have another child. Oh, so you say now. That yes. cat will become my responsibility afterward. So, um, I don't know, babe, what do you think? Maybe we should consider getting a cat. It's not a big deal. I said I'm home, I have so much time. Maybe during something the else that has fur? Uh, a dog. Her coochie. Stop. <laughs> 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 I said fur. <laughs> fur. So, babe, are we gonna get a cat or no? Um, we need to really think about that. Mama. You hear that, Nini? That's Bebe? a big responsibility. You hear that? All right, we'll, we'll think, think about, about it. it. Are you Armando? Yeah. <laughs> what are your girls' names? Jasmine. Nice to meet you, Jasmine. Nice to meet you, too. What's your name? Ariel. Nice to meet you, Ariel. I did notice from a distance that Armando was talking to two girls. He's a ladies' man, so he likes that. Hashtag for the ladies. Gives that little smile, that little smirk. <laughs> Why would someone find my brother attractive? Because I don't see my brother how other girls see him. I'm just like, girl, don't get yourself into that issue. Like, I don't think you'd want to be with him. I wouldn't. Like, girl, save yourself. <laughs> Imagine I was a bitch. Oh. <laughs> Can you help? Here, I got you. Here, give me your arm. Come on. Get up. Okay, I'm gonna go, um, it's her birthday. I'm gonna go help her skate, all right? Okay, bye. Bye. Nice meeting you, girls. Nice meeting you, too. Bye. Armando, he's super sweet, and I love the bond that he has with Alina. 
He's so like, he's always taking care of her. I, I, I think he prefers to hang out with his little sister than, you know, getting distracted with other things, which I like that about him. I know Armando and like, I know that's his character. Like, he's sweet. So I wasn't like really too like surprised that Armando would do something like that, like go and help Elena rather than you know stay around and try to get with some girls. I guess their goals, like brother and sister goals. Hey boo! Uh -huh. Great idea on the cupcakes, Elena. Oh. Love them. Oh, little cat girl. No, so I know. But I noticed that you're a little quiet on me. What's going on, baby? I know you too well. Something is bugging you. Want to talk about it? So one thing I've always noticed about my mom is that she can tell like when something's wrong with me right away. I know my daughter too well. Lately, I've noticed that she's been very quiet and very distant with us, and so I I don't like that because that to me that's a red flag that I need to ask her what's going on in her life. Mm, well, I don't know. I just been like a little bit like stressed lately. Just like all this drama going on. Tell me what's going on. Like just recently I've just been like the one that everybody like wants to like go attack on social media. But like lately it's just been getting worse and like I don't know how to deal with it. Yeah, I've been getting bullied by like the same girl since seventh grade, probably seventh grade three. Um so it's been going on for a while and it's just been getting worse recently. It's like embarrassing also. Like before like and I can't I'm like so helpless, like I don't know what to do about it. When Eileen makes comments that she feels helpless and doesn't know what to do, it brings me a lot of sadness. I don't know what to do with her or how to help her. I want to know what they're saying to you. I'm going to fight you or like, I'm going to catch you sleeping one day or like, or just like, oh, you're ugly, you think you're all that. There was a group of girls that don't like me. And then as we get older, they make more friends and then they say things oh about me goodness. and then they say things about me. And it's like, more people don't like me and then more people don't like me and it's like, you don't know me, but you just go based off what you've heard about me. What other people have said, wow, that's so annoying. And so I feel like when the whole thing happened on social media, one girl said something and everybody else got the got opportunity on the to say wagon, something basically. too. When I hear comments from Eileen or I read comments that say, oh, I'm gonna catch you on the street and, and fight you, that scares me the most. They don't have anything to lose. And no, like you're I have a like career. yes, I'm like building myself, and it's like I'm not gonna lower myself and put my standards down and get into a fight so they can just be like, oh, like look at her, like she's not like what she, who she says she is, and it's like that's not who I am, you know? It's mm -hmm. just hard. It's just like super hard. Well, I mean, I also, I as your it. mom, the only thing I can tell you is just ignore them, like try to ignore them. And I know it's it's easy for me to say and hard for you to do, but I would suggest like maybe start blocking them on, on Twitter, I mean, or Instagram, anywhere, because once you block them, but. It's just easy to block people on social media, but like knowing that I have to go to school with them, it's like, I don't know, it's just. So what do you want me to do for you, baby? I just don't feel comfortable going back to that school anymore. Like I want to like move schools. Even if you start fresh, you know, people know you because of your social media, and then you're always gonna have haters, like, regardless, you know? It's just in the back of my mind all the time because I don't wanna be dealing with it when I get Feel back stressed. to school, and it's just like stressing me out more than it needs to be stressing me out. But you know what, Mamacita? I'm gonna tell you something. Keep your head up, mind your own business, ignore them. Don't look at them, don't give them time because if you give them attention, they're gonna feel like they're winning. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad that you're telling me because I don't like seeing you sad. I don't like you seeing you upset, you know? No, I think it's just nonsense and then it just hurts me more when people talk about my mom. Talk about me? Mm -hmm. I just don't like when I get into something and like the only person that defends me is my mom. And then it's like a problem for people like that my mom defends me, but it's like, that's the only person on my team that can defend me. And so it just hit, it hits me harder because it's like, don't talk about my mom because I will do anything for her. Like, that's what hurts me. Like, just, you can say all these things about me, but just don't talk about my mom. I know that you want to change schools, but I feel like you should give it a try. You never know. It's like every year when you start school, I tell you, you know what, Mamacita, give it a shot. Yeah. Mando's going to be there, and I feel like it's going to be okay. I mean, you have friends that support you and love you anyway, yeah. so you're going to be fine. Yeah, I just feel like that's like an easy way out. In a way, like just you know, Baby, don't moving give up. schools, you're gonna starting be okay. over, and like no, that's mamacita. what I'm thinking. 
you're gonna be okay, I promise you. You know, I've, I've always, every time I promise you something, every time I tell you something, it comes true. Yeah. And I'm not gonna let you down on this one. We'll figure it out together and we'll mm -hmm. see how it goes and you're gonna be okay. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I've trusted you before. <laughs> so I guess I can trust you again. Yeah, mama. I don't want you sad, okay? I want mm -hmm. you smiling and just enjoy the party and, you know, keep going and mm -hmm. have some fun. All right? Okay. Thank, Thank you, baby you. girl. I love you too. If you really want if you really want my mom, she gave me good advice. I'm glad I stayed because you don't want people to like get the satisfaction like, oh, you see, I did that, like I made her move. So yeah, I'm just gonna play it out and see how the rest of the school year goes, and hopefully she's right. Mondo, come, come, hey, have you met Anna? Nice to meet you, Mondo. Nice to meet you, Anna. Do you think she's cute?